And as we thank the Lord for his blessings, let us also seek pardon for our sins. For the many things that we may have done that have affected the peace in our family, our neighborhood, or even at our place of work. Let us seek forgiveness for the times we have used words or indulged in actions that have hurt people, especially our loved ones. Let us seek forgiveness for wasting time, for not having grabbed opportunities given to us, for the times we have cheated, being dishonest. We know that we are gazing at a Lord who is merciful and kind and loving. And even those who opposed him, 
the Pharisees, the scribes, the Sadducees. Very often the Lord used parables in order to teach people with hardened hearts to talk to them about a merciful God to speak about the kingdom to present to them the beautiful mercies that God offers his people he was a teacher par excellence because in the course of his teaching and the words that he used he also set an example people not only learned from his words but also from his actions Mary our mother and the mother of our Lord was also surely a good teacher our Lord as he was growing up would have learned from her the stories of the faith the words of the prophets and importantly the example of her actions indeed we are grateful to God for the gift of teachers we are grateful for our own parents who teach us from the time we are little for catechists for priests for religious for teachers in the secular world there is deep respect to be shown for a teacher because he or she inspires all the possible professions in the world and today we spend this time in prayer thanking the lord for our teachers praying for them especially in these times when education has been taken over by the new normal we pray for teachers who are struggling we pray for those contemplating to be teachers we also remember Saint Teresa of Kolkata who was a teacher by profession and later in her role as a missionary of charity she taught the world the beautiful example of God's love by her actions let us now listen to a text from the book of sirach chapter 6 verses 32 to 37 if you are willing to listen you will learn if you wish you can be taught if you apply yourself you will be shrewd if you are willing to listen you will learn if you give heed you will be wise frequent the company of the elders 
whoever is wise stay close to them be eager to hear every godly discourse let no wise saying escape you if you see a person of prudence seek them out let your feet wear away their doorstep reflect on the precepts of the lord let his commandments be your constant companion for your meditation then he will enlighten your mind and the wisdom you desire he will grant the word of the lord thanks be to god the author of the book of sirah reminds us that as students and teachers we must always have an open mind and the willingness to learn and to seek wisdom as students we learn from teachers who themselves gain wisdom from their personal efforts this continuous flow of wisdom and knowledge is what develops the mind and therefore society in the long run Jesus the teacher taught by example If you are a teacher actively involved in reaching out to students whether in school or college or any professional institution always remember that jesus taught by example and your life therefore has to be one of honesty of commitment of faith if you are a teacher who is retired go back into time enjoy those memories relive the struggles what was it that inspired you to be a teacher who was that teacher who inspired you to be one if there is anyone from among you who is looking forward to being a teacher what is it that drives you to be one to decide to strengthen the life of a student reflect on your motives Mary the teacher whose birthday we will be celebrating in a few days from now was someone who had faith in God faith in herself was committed to God was open to his will and it was this openness that helped her understand god's calling god's will god's plan every teacher is sent into the world to participate in god's plan imagine the responsibility you have 
spend some time praying for yourself, praying for other teachers, and also remembering those teachers who have passed away, having fulfilled their role in forming the minds of the citizens of the world. May God your guru, let him tell you what to do, listen, he's calling, calling you, take time to listen, have courage to obey, the inner voice is calling, calling you, there are voices all around us, that of enemies and of friends, do this, don't do that, the chorus never ends. But I shall always listen to that quiet inner voice. It is still and definite, and I have made my choice. Make God your guru, let him tell you what to do. Listen, he's calling, calling you. Take time to listen, have courage to obey, the inner voice is calling. God is the source of all wisdom and knowledge. Let us pray for his blessings on our teachers at all times. Our response is, God of love, hear our prayer. Together. Trusted to their care as they educate, guide, and mentor them with gentleness, patience, and concern. Let us pray to the Lord. God of love, hear our prayer. We pray that our may always be blessed with good health and peace as they strive to make our children respectable citizens of the country and charioteers of the faith. We pray to the Lord. Experience God. 
God's healing and comforting presence. We pray to the Lord. As you are here before the Blessed Sacrament, as a family, possibly as a community, there may be teachers sitting with you, praying with you. As a gesture of God's goodness towards teachers present in your midst, those active and retired, Kindly bless them on the forehead with the sign of the cross. Lord our God, in your wisdom and love, you surround us with the mysteries of the universe. In times long past, you sent us your prophets to teach your laws and to bear witness to your undying love. You sent us your Son to teach us by word and example that true wisdom comes from you alone. Send your blessings upon your teachers, active and retired, and fill them with your wisdom and blessings. Strengthen them with love and peace. May those who are actively teaching experience your strength as they strive to create global citizens in a world filled with violence, hatred, insecurity and revenge. May they give their students a sense of purpose as they mentor them to face the challenges of life 
And may your love, compassion and mercy always be reflected through our teachers. May those who have retired enjoy rest from their labors. May a spirit of satisfaction heal their tired beings as they look back with gratitude at the years they have spent in guiding humanity. May they be blessed with good health and peace. May teachers who have died be blessed for their labors with eternal rest. We thank you, Lord, for these teachers and many others who have brought joy to children through their hard work and commitment. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us now prepare ourselves to receive the blessing from the Blessed Sacrament. May the blessings of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit descend upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. divine praises together. Blessed be God, blessed be his holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be his most sacred heart. Blessed be his most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the paraclete. Blessed be the great mother of God, Mary most holy. Blessed be a holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be a glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be God in his angels and in his saints. Let us thank God for his goodness to us. Reflected in the person of a teacher. First through Jesus. To Mary our mother and our own teachers and catechists in the world. Who oh, give thanks to the Lord for he is good. Who oh, give thanks to the Lord for he is good. Who oh, give thanks to the Lord for he is good. Yes, the time is his love. My God never ceasing. All my life I will tell of his wonders. He's the maker of all earth and heaven, of the oceans, the seas, and all they go. Oh, give thanks to the Lord for he is good. Oh, give thanks to the Lord for he is good. Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. 